I don't know how you let Claire talk into this. But sometimes a person of diminutive <clears throat> stature doesn't react with the same revulsion and horror as someone of taller stature, unless they're unwittingly programmed to, say, by a parent. Okay, I, I didn't get any of that. When Blair called this morning, oh, I was so sleepy, I probably would have agreed to anything. Sure, keep that in mind. I guess I was, uh, I was so happy about your proposal last night that I finally relaxed and just conked out. You snore. I do not. I do. You shook the whole building, reinforced concrete and all. So is this the eternal plan? We get a little bit closer and then you push me away? Basically, yeah. Look, I, I know you were uncomfortable. And you probably felt a lot of pressure. Well, I don't want you to feel that way. We will get there when you are ready. Until then, I'll wait. Did you say that to all the guys? Usually, I don't have to. Well, that ever. If you put a dollar aside for every whatever you say, Star's college and grad school tuition would be paid for by now. Okay, first of all, I have a dollar for every time I say whatever. And second of all, she is not going to go to college. She's going to continue the Manning tradition and be a college dropout. Come on, let's go see if Mommy's with Aunt Dorian, okay? Well, Lazarus, Easter's over. Yeah, I heard that you, uh, proposed to Taya. Late breaking news. Yeah, my mom actually mentioned it to me. Told me that you did it in a way that made her believe you actually might be capable of human feelings, which, I don't know, don't worry, I'm not buying it. I just figured I'd, uh, well, congratulations. You know, as your former friend and fraternity brother, I feel like I ought to warn you. If you, after your accident, are, say, no longer able to keep Cassie happy. She might just run back to her reverend. Yes. Sir. Well, Lazarus, it's over. So, have you considered it? That deal I offered you last night. You make it through this, and I'll get the hell out of your life, just like you wanted me to. I'll live my life without you. Just as long as you live yours. It's a sweet deal. I think you should take it. You may not hear this from me again. But I love you. You come. You're going with me. Give up the ghost story and... You belong here. With me. You murdered me. You dominate your girls. You make Mel miserable. You treat everyone with indifference and contempt. And you do this because you, yourself, are a worthless and wretch of a human being. I love you. And yet in spite of that, there are people, Mama, who love me. Doesn't that count for something? It should. But you don't love them. Oh, I'm going to get even with Bo. But I have no intention of using you in the process. Where's your laptop? Do you have a modem cable? My laptop? Help yourself. <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you... I really resent your implying that I would ever use you. Well, gee, I'm, I'm sorry. I... What are you doing? 
I'm going to get even with Bo. By letting him know that I'm not hiding out licking my wounds. The facts, Rachel. That I'm fine. Really? Yes. Just need some time away from everyone. Just ain't things. So don't worry. you were dealing with the truth. I don't want the truth. I don't want the truth right now. Look, look, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't even imagine the pain you must be in. Oh, I don't believe. Do we have to dwell on this? Well, look, the point is here is, what do you really know about this alleged affair? Alleged? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you say you saw, uh, you know, Bo at the, at the launch with somebody that you think was Georgie. And, and pictures, wait, pictures like this? You understand? These days, they can fake pictures like this. Fake them. Fake? That would make Georgie a truly evil person, and I would have seen it coming. All I see here is a man who was stupid enough to have an affair with a woman who blackmailed him. Nora, Bo is not that stupid. Even smart people do stupid things. Have you ever, ever before thought that, that, that Bo was having an affair? Hmm? No, that's why I came to, out of the blue, but it all fits. That's late night hours, his mood when he came home. Yeah, that's all circumstantial evidence. Okay, fine, fine, maybe, just maybe I need some hard facts, but I have to trust where I get them from. And you don't trust Bo? I gave everything I had, and I trusted Bo. Oh. I did. All the things that made me feel safe. My cynicism, my smart comebacks, my innate suspicion. When I fell in love with Mo, I threw the master switch and I disarmed all my warheads. I let him into my heart. Let me ask you a question, okay? Where did this picture come from? Georgie. No, no, no. Where did it come from? A camera. I, I don't want to share it. What are you Who asking me? Who took the picture? There had to be somebody behind the camera, right? What's your point? My point is, is that Georgie went to the trouble of having this picture taken. Okay? Real or not, she manufactured evidence. Now, the chances are good that if she manufactured this, she manufactured more. Which must mean she left a paper trail. I'll bet you a million bucks she left a paper trail. What are you doing? Paper trails these days are on hard drive. I'm trying to get into my system at the office. Do you think maybe she left a journal? So why don't we just find it out? They're yours? Yeah, Hank, I told you. I cut my hand changing a tire. By the time I got back here, I was a mess. Oh, Commissioner, this being a crime scene, I think we should take those clothes to the lab to be tested. Just to rule things out. We don't do this by the book. It's going to come back and bite us. We want everybody involved to be protected. Oh, yeah, sure, fine. Listen, the sooner we find out what happened here, the sooner we'll find Nora. Chase. All right. Who put him in charge? I did. I talked to his boss in D.C. I figure he knows Landview well enough after the bodega investigation, so he might as well head up this. A special task force? Yeah, Hank, Nora's involved. I don't want any questions about deferential treatment or conflict of interest. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess the last thing we need is Congressman Graham and his boys sniffing around. We typed the blood stain on the carpet. 
And it's not Nora's, right? Do you know your wife's blood type? A positive. Well, this was O negative. 